In this tutorial, we'll talk about using a plug-in amp on a slide guitar part. It happens to be tuned to open D, which is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. It's really all about making the plug-in amp sound good and then taking it from there. Again, this is just a single track. Let's see what we got. Bypass the sounds. That's just the clean DI sound. For a good blues tone, I like the Friedman DS40, which stands for Dirty Shirley. It's a nice 40-watt head that gives a little edge and a little growl to a slide part. Here's the clean sound again. Right out of the box, it sounds really good. Let me turn a few knobs so you can hear it. Master volume. I find with Sly Blues, you don't want too much gain. For EQ, I'm going to go to another plugin. We'll use the Millennia NS EQ2 from Brainworks. So instead of the amp controls, this is what's going to cut the guitar through the part. I'm only using two bands. Here's 8K for a nice bright sound. This is around 4K. So this times 10 switch turns around 400 hertz to 4 kilohertz. Let's listen to that. I'll just keep the Q or the width right up the middle. Listen to how these two bands give the guitar some edge. For a little bit of gain, I'm gonna use the LA3A, but again, I won't compress anything. Just gonna use gain. Notice there's no compression happening. For even just a little more edge, I'm going to use the Oxford Inflator, but I'm only going to use the Effect and Curve sliders. I find this plug-in adds that little extra bit that can cut it through the track. Let's listen. so it doesn't clip, we'll pull the output down a bit. Now I'm starting with a pan around 10 o'clock position. And to add more width, I'm gonna use the Cooper Time Cube. We'll change this to Time Cube or Cooper. I like to use this to add width to mono guitar parts, especially plugins. I'm just using a send to a stereo aux track. We're widening the image of the sound. The Cooper has two separate echoes. The first part is A, which sits up top, and that relates to this time here. Let's get that set. There's your delay time. You can pan it. Notice I'm panning it right on top of the guitar part. Echo B. Keep that really short and turn the volume up a little and we are good to go. So this was a real simple way to create some nice depth with a Cooper Time Cube on a plug-in amplifier.